Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to talk about intermediate developer certification on the Mendix platform. So these are the four Mendix certifications. The first one is rapid, second one is intermediate, third one is advanced and fourth one is expert. In today's video, we're going to talk about the intermediate developer certification. So this certification is for someone who's having fundamental knowledge of Mendix platform to start building the next great apps. Now let's talk about the intermediate developer exam. So these are the topics which you will be tested on. Here are a few details about the exam, like the exam consists of 50 multiple choice questions. You have 90 minutes to complete the exam and the passing grade is 75%. And the prerequisite is that you need to have the Mendix rapid certification in order to enroll for the exam. And the best preparation for this exam is following the intermediate developer learning paths or you have to attend these paid intermediate courses or the Mendix bootcamp. But in my opinion, if you are able to do these learning paths listed here you should be well prepared and able to clear this exam with ease and the exam can be taken online from your system you need to have a working webcam allow access to the screen and you need to add a chrome extension if you're using google chrome to take the exam that is met text extension so this is the testing partner for mendix which is responsible for proctoring your exam and the most important thing is that now the mendix certification exam is closed book and any resources is not allowed. If you need more detailed logistics, you can download this intermediate guide, which contains the do's and don'ts and all the information related to the certification exam. You can download it by clicking here. Now let's take a look at the Mendix Intermediate Developer Exam Guide. So this is the index. Now let's quickly go through the important points. It is a closed format exam, so you can't access any resources during the exam. You can take this exam in person or online, if you're taking it online, it is AI based proctored using the metal testing environment. So your whole exam will be recorded and sent to Mendix. They will review it in person along with these AI based images which they send during the exam. And then you will get your results after they process your exam manually. So these are a few points which you have to remember while taking the exam. So this is the prerequisite. You need to be having the rapid developer certification in order to register for this exam and these are the topics which will be, you will be tested on and these are the six learning paths you have to prepare in order to score well and ace the exam so this is related to agile and this is xpath this is page building this is microflows this is data model and this deals with data importing and exporting and also rest services you need to get at least 75 percent out of 50 questions you need to get at least 38 by 50 in order to pass in order to get 75 percent so these are the eight sections in the exam and there is no minimum score for each section and each section has varying number of questions so this is the system check before starting the exam which is highly recommended and after registering the exam, you'll be getting an email from academy at mendix.com with the test link. And the test link is valid for one month. Before the link expires, you can take that exam. Here you can see link will be only valid for one month. So this is on how you have to start. And this is an important screen, which is showing you how the exam will look like. So this will show you the section you're on. As I've said, there are eight sections and each section has varying number of questions as you can see this section has five questions and next section may have more or less number of questions and this is showing you how to revisit your marked exam this is showing you questions answered how to move to the next question you can make images bigger by clicking on them you can revisit a question by checking this box and you can move to different sections using this drop down this is a closed book exam which means you're not allowed to use any resources you can't open a new tab and these are the exam rules and the following are not allowed during an exam so take a look at this document carefully and this is how your ai proctoring will work you can't use a mobile phone you can't have background noises you can't have people interfering you can't look away from the screen if you're not present and if your id is not matching your face so these are the scenarios where your exam will be marked and you might get warnings and if you exceed three warnings the exam will be stopped and getting your results the exam results will be emailed to you in several business days but generally they take one to two days because it needs to be reviewed by the mendix academy but what they will give you is a exam report 
right after you click on the submit button so there you can check how you did on each section and calculate manually if you passed or failed the exam and these are the few faqs so most of your questions will be answered here so please take a look at this document before taking the exam now let's do a quick overview of the intermediate developer index exam so it's a closed book online proctor exam you have 50 questions which are multiple choice you have 90 minutes to complete the questions and the passing grade is 75 percent which means you have to get at least 38 questions right out of the total 50 questions and like discussed these are the eight sections you'll be tested on and there is no time constraint for each section but the overall exam time is 90 minutes now let's see how you can register for this exam click on the get certified button here and it will take you through the steps and as i mentioned you need to complete the rapid certification exam in order to enroll for this without that you won't be able to enroll for the intermediate exam the cost of this exam is 150 us dollars plus tax but if you enroll for the mendix partner training you can get a coupon code which you can use for the registering of exam which will give you one free attempt now let me show you how you can get access to the coupon code go to this url partners hyphen course hyphen registration dot mendixcloud.com it will take you to the sign in page you need to create an account so if you don't have an account here and it's your first time so click on sign up here fill in these details and click on create account now let me log in and show you the different trainings offered by the mendix partner course so there are three types of trainings offered beginner to rapid rapid to intermediate and intermediate to advanced so if you need a voucher code for the intermediate exam click on rapid to intermediate and enroll for one of these sessions as you can see there are limited slots available per session here you can see there is a course available from november 13 to november 22 2023 so click on view details and here you can click on register for event so this partner training program is offered by mendix which is a siemens company so each course has four training sessions out of which you have to attend at least three to get a free voucher for the exam so once you register for this event and attend at least three of these sessions out of four the instructor for this course will email you the voucher code which you can go back to the mendix platform and register for that exam for free for one attempt using that voucher code now let's take a look at these six learning paths and keep in mind these topics and the exam sections so you can focus on those particular topics more so in the first learning path it's about unlocking true collaboration so it has these five modules the scrum methodology applied module is very important if you want to score well in the agile section of the exam similarly check out the rest of the learning paths so this is about advanced page building which will help you score better in the page section and this is for microflows this is for the domain model skills so focus on this if you want to score well on the domain model and this is the importing and exporting section here you will find how to deal with rest services and import data using the different excel importer modules so that's it guys i hope you got a clear understanding of how to prepare and approach the mendix developer certification exam that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video